Guys, these are the seasons that you're going to need, or I'll be using, to make my smothered turkey wings. Starting in the back row, I have kosher salt, coarse, coarse kosher salt, and that is Worcestershire salt. Next to that, there's Creole seasoning, a double seasoning, and then the second from the back, we have sage, white pepper, accent, front row, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, pulp tree seasoning, I almost messed that word up, I usually do, Old Bay seasoning, and celery flakes, garlic salt, bay leaves, parsley flakes, and mace. So guys, for the vegetables, I have two sweet onions, one half of a green bell pepper, one whole green bell pepper, baby carrots, thyme. This is what I'll be using in for my seasoning, my fresh herbs and my spices. It's all this is going to go with the turkey wings. So guys, you may be asking, do I really need to put all those seasonings in there? No, you don't. Because if you just had pepper, whether it's white or black, sea salt, garlic powder, or garlic salt, celery flakes, onion powder, and some lifted on your soup mix with your vegetables, guys, it will still taste good. So guys, these are the turkey wings that are soaking in the water. It's uh, salt water with a little bit of lemon juice, but I've had these soaking in my sink. And actually guys, these turkey wings, this was the whole turkey wing. The entire turkey wing. And what I did, I cut this portion of the turkey wing from this portion. So at a total, I had purchased these turkey wings come two to a pack. And for five dollars and some change, that wasn't bad because I bought four. So if they come in two to a pack, so that's eight. And when you cut them in half, as I did, when you cut them in half, two times eight is what, guys? Sixteen. So you got sixteen servings here of turkey wings. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish cleaning up these turkey wings because if you can see here, there are some hairs still on the turkey wing. You want to get all that off. And anything else on here? I know I have one with some uh, some yellowish stuff that's on here. Okay, here we go. That right there. You want to clean all that off. You know, get it in the water. Get it all nice and cleaned up. And far as the hairs on your turkey wings, guys, well, it's better if you have a, a gas stove to do this with because when you're trying to singe off these hairs on an electric stove, <laughs> it can be a little chore. So what I'm going to do, let's see if you can see these hairs a little bit better. what you want to get off of there. All those little hairs. But I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet. I mean, it's nothing new. I'm going to go over here and try to get these hairs off after I get these turkey wings all nice and cleaned up. And we'll come back at that point, guys. I'll see you in just a moment. Kitchen shears. And have a pretty nice sharp knife. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, what I do... I feel around the turkey for the for the joint 
with my finger both sides I'm feeling for the joint okay once I think I've got that located I take my scissors and I go down the wing this way with my scissors and I want to get in here and try to get those tendons cut those tendons can you see that guy? that's a tendon I'm trying to cut through now whether this is the right way of doing it I don't know I just want to get her done but it works for me then I use my knife as I said I don't know if you can see here, there's a joint. Okay? Take my knife and I start cutting where that joint is. And that's going to expose the ball and socket. That's a ball and there's a socket. I'm going to continue to cut. Let's be really careful, guys. And that's going to expose this part of the turkey wing, that bone. And from there, it's pretty much smooth sailing. Once you have this exposed, and here, you want to go down the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut her down the middle. Get my thumb out of the way before I lose it. You can do this on a cutting board, guys. You don't have to do it my way. You can do it on a cutting board. And there it is. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up these turkey wings. And then rinse them all off. And we'll be adding on our seasoning. Just one minute, guys. Once you finish washing off your turkey wings and you've got them clean as best you can, sometimes you're going to have some hairs on there, but don't sweat it, guys. It's going to be okay. It's not going to harm you in any way. I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning up my, my turkey wings. This is parsley. And as you can see, guys, I'm putting a generous amount in here. I have quite a bit of turkey wings, so I'm going to be using quite a bit of seasoning. To that, I'll be adding Old Bay seasoning, and again, quite a bit. I want to make sure every one of these wings are coated. I'm look on the bottom here and see if i got anything on the bottom, which I do. A few there hiding on the bottom. I have my accent. Now, accent, for those of you who don't know what accent is, it's just pure monosodium glutinate. And it says it right there. Uh, okay. Monosodium glutinate. Okay. I don't know if you can see it that well. That's all this is. Now, if you have a problem with accent or MSG, don't use it. And then to this, I'm going to be adding, that was about, I'd say about three, maybe four teaspoons of the MSG. I'll be adding in garlic, I'm sorry, onion. There's a layer on that so you guys can see onion powder. This is onion powder. Liberal amount of onion powder. And we have garlic salt. Garlic salt. Sprinkling it in. I'm going to put no more than Two, three tablespoons of garlic salt. I have some sage. 
that's going in as well. Sprinkling it in like snow. Okay. Creole seasoning. And I would say that's another three table teaspoons of Creole seasoning. White pepper, you can use black pepper, doesn't matter. I'm just happen to be using white pepper today. Paprika. Sprinkling that in. That's another three teaspoons of the paprika. We have garlic powder. Another three teaspoons of garlic powder. And we have our mace. I'll tell you guys about mace in just a moment. Oh, I might as well use what's left. That's all that's there of the mace. So from there, we're just going to go ahead and rub these together. Get these seasonings on back in the front. Massage it all in. And what I'm going to do after I'm done with this... I'm going to put it into my roaster and set my roaster in my refrigerator overnight. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish rubbing these all in. And I'll bring you back after I have all of my vegetables chopped up. That's going to go on the bottom of my roaster. I'm going to lay my meats on top. And we're going to sit this into the refrigerator. Okay guys, I'll see you in just one moment. Guys, I almost forgot to add the salt. I think I'll be using sea salt instead of the kosher salt. I would, but I don't have much kosher salt left. Both of them are better for you as far as metabolizing in the body, they are. But if you can get away without having to use salt, period. Maybe some Mrs. Dash. You know what, to be perfectly honest, I take that back. But it ain't going to taste good. You need some salt in this. You need some salt. You seriously need some salt. Alright, guys. I got some uh, celery flakes I'm going to be putting in here as well. I almost forgot that. I have to wash these tops off with my hands down on everything. And celery salt, celery flakes. I wiped my hands off because I was handling that jar and I was handling that salt. Okay. And we're going to get this in. Alright guys, let me bring you back when I'm ready to chop up our vegetables. So I have a roaster here guys, and to that I'm just going to rough chop my sweet onion. You can put this on a chopping board and cut her up that way, but for me, this is quicker. I don't know why, I'm just used to doing it this way. And to keep down on the tears, you might want to keep your onions in the refrigerator, that helps. Cut down on some of the crying and the 
sulfur and stuff that comes out of the onions, the smell, out of the onions. And that was my green, that was my onion, my green pepper. I'm just going to take this inner part off. I'm going to cut these. Just give it a rough chop. And I'll go back and I'll just cut them up this way. So guys, you really don't need to watch me cut up the vegetables. I'll bring you back when I have the other onion cut up. And I'll be putting in my baby carrots. Okay, I'll meet you up at that point. Guys, you know what? I brought you back. I'm going to tell you why. I'm using my camera phone. And if I keep putting you on pause, or if I stop it, that's just more frames for me to, for um, using a um, movie maker, Windows Movie Maker, and that's just more frames for it to use. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to quickly cut these up. You can go feed the cat, the dog, go get some water. But, I have to do it this way. And I apologize. I really apologize. And I'm just rough chopping up these vegetables because they're actually going to, they're going to, we had a glitch in the system, but we're back now. And it kind of, <laughs> it threw me off a little bit, but um, I'm kind of glad we did because I forgot to do something. I had to take some of the turkey out of the roaster here. Because what I forgot to add in, and I'm using washed hands because my gloves had holes in them. And I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and do it like this and be done with it. I'm adding in some time, some fresh time, in between the layers of my, of my turkey. I'm going to add in just a little bit more, just a little bit of the Lipton onion soup mix. And to that, to help my gravy for tomorrow... But this is what I'm adding in, guys. I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but this is what I'm adding in. Okay, it's roasted chicken gravy. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on. Rather than using flour or cornstarch, that's going to go there as well. I have um, the nor chicken bouillon that's going to go into my pan as well I'll just open up one of these little cubes here and crush that up best I can that's going to go in all this is flavor guys all this is flavor okay one can of chicken broth I don't know if you can see that well, but well, that's chicken broth I'm going to be putting into my pot just down on the side here. And on this side, some down in front. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Now this won't be the only can that I'll be adding into this into this roaster with my turkey. No, it's not going to be the only one, but for today, for tonight, because it's about 9 o'clock at night, that's what I'm putting in for in here for right now, is that. So, I'm going to use my tongues here and put back the other pieces of turkey. And once I get these all in, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put on some rosemary. I'm sorry, some thyme, sprigs of thyme. It's going to go in here. Some Lipton onion soup mix. Let's make room here. My last piece. Okay, 
and goes more sprigs of thyme. We're just adding in flavor, guys. Remember that. Just adding in flavor. And I'm going to put on douse her with a little bit more of the Lipton onion soup mix. And what I'm going to do with the rest of this, I'm going to squeeze it down into the liquid where I have my chicken broth. Get it all down in there. And this makes about two cups, as it says, it makes about two cups of uh, gravy. So for now, I'm just going to leave her as is. Set this off of here. I'm going to put on my roaster top. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I've been kind of off, but before I put my roaster on uh, the top on, I'm going to add in some. This isn't butter. This is margarine. I could lie and say, oh, this is put on some butter. But no, this is one stick of margarine. I save my butter for more. I'm not going to say more important things, but I grew, the way I grew up with my mom, she only used butter for baking her cakes and uh, pies and things like that. But if you have butter, by all means, go right ahead and add in some butter and put in the whole stick of butter. And that's it. So guys, there we are. She's ready to go with the top on her. She's ready to go into the refrigerator. And I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. And I want you to understand one thing. This is Big Mama's Place. Big Mama's Place. Remember that. So like, share, subscribe. Click that bell. And I'll see you first thing in the morning. Guys, be blessed. Bye-bye. Guys, what I've done, I've gone ahead and taken out the roaster of the turkey wings and I set it out for a little bit to let it come up to room temperature. And what I'm about to do right now, I uh, have a pan here and I'm going to be separating this portion of the turkey wing into this roaster with my spices and my herbs and things. But I'm going to show you. I have one can, okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't have opened it before <laughs> I showed it to you, but this is the chicken broth. I have one can of cream of celery, condensed soup. This is a 25 ounce, well, this is a 10.5 ounce can of celery cream of celery and that was a six a uh, 14 ounce can of the chicken broth I have cream of chicken condensed cream of chicken soup and this is a 10 point ten and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup and you don't have to use these particular brands guys you can use whatever brand that you have what I'm about to do I have water here and uh, a little warm water. I'm going to add half of this can. Hope you guys are getting that. Half of this can of the chicken broth into here. And also, guys, I do have another pack of the chicken gravy. But I'm going to show you something very interesting. It is to me, because you know, guys, one of the points of my, my channel is trying to save money. This cost me 25 cents. It was in the reduce aisle. 25 cents. So I bought about, I don't know, $3 worth of them. Oh, practically all that they had. But from there, what I'm going to do from that, and you know, I keep saying what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. I got to figure out different, something else to say than what I'm going to do. This gravy makes two cups. This pack makes two cup, two packs of gravy. 
Okay, two packs of gravy. And that's going to go in here as well. Let's dump that right on in. So we're going to open up those cans of cream of chicken soup. I love it when I can just pop the lid like that. And we're going to add some of this into our... I know you guys can't see that very well, but I'm just going to pop some of this down into, and this is just a knife that I was using a little bit ago, Have um, to chop up some onions and things. It's okay. It's quite all right. So half of this can is going to go in here. And guys, I'm putting it all into this container, and I'll tell you why. So this is what it looks like so far. She's almost full. Okay, this is what it looks like. Half of a can of the celery soup is going to go in there as well. Just going to pop that top. And that's going to go down into here. Half of my can. I kind of went everywhere, but that's all right. We won't fuss up a minor things. I'm going to put the lid on this. Give her a good shake. Put the top on her. And this is no more than a recycled uh, mayonnaise jar. Saving money again, guys, I tell you. If I can get this lid on. I seem to be having a little problems with this. Let me work that out. Okay, that's better. I have several of these mayonnaise jars that I recycle. When I mean by recycle, I just wash them out real good. For just this purpose for shaking things up and when I make my homemade mayonnaise I can put them in the back of the mayonnaise jar so I'm shaking this up and it's gonna go inside of my pan for my turkey wings and it's also gonna go into this pan as well so you want to get that all shaken up real well I'm gonna sit that to the side and immediately gonna go ahead and start on my this knife here, giving these onions, this onion, such a yellow, sweet onion, rough chop. It's going to go inside of this pan. And this is a whole medium size sweet onion. My hands are clean, they've been washed, and I know guys, I'm doing this and I'm not using like a cutting board, and you're thinking she's going to cut herself. Well, you know what guys, I'm not going to lie, I haven't, I have cut myself before, yeah I have. I've been doing this so long, so long, that it's just easier for me to do it this way, but guys, you use a cutting board if need be, and uh, that's just a rough chop into that. Putting in some carrots, and this is only for flavor. Doesn't matter how many, because again, this is just going to give my gravy flavor. Okay. And to here, I'm going to put a couple of these pads of margarine, and as I said, in the other segment. If you hadn't seen that, just click the eye in the sky and it'll take you to it. This is margarine. It's not butter. I use butter for pies and cakes and things of that nature for baking. And um, maybe if I'm making a butter sauce. But I use margarine when I can. Another part of saving money. Well, some people may frown at it. What you going to do here? 
might frown at it, but I tell you what, guys, don't worry about it. You're not some people. If you're out there trying to save money, you do what's best for your family. You go right ahead and use that margarine. It's already salted, whereas with my butter, I usually buy unsalted butter. Does it have to be name brand? No, it doesn't. Now, you know what, guys? I got this top on here, and I can't get this sucker off. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me come right back. Okay, so into this pan, we're going to add in some of that mixture. I'm not going to use all of it because we're going to save part of that for the roaster. So I'm just putting in this part of the turkey wing down into there. I'll put in one or two more. This isn't something that you guys really need to watch me do. And you can use a medley of peppers. You can use red, the orange, and the yellow peppers in here as well. They're pretty sweet. But uh, I was trying to save on some money, and they weren't on sale. So I just got the uh, green bell peppers. Plus, I'm going to get enough sweetness from my carrots in here. And a little tip, I told you guys I was going to tell you last night about mace because I have mace in here as well. Let me tell you what mace is. Mace is cousin to nutmeg. It's the outer covering of the nutmeg. And uh, it's a spice that's common, commonly used in Indian dishes. Um, you find things such as all spice has mace in it or nutmeg. And uh, so it tastes pretty much like nutmeg, but sweeter. You can use it in savory dishes, meat dishes, as we're doing right here. We're making up some gravy and stews. Whoa. You could use it in that as well. So let's slide this over so I can get these in. So that, that's what mace is, and that's what's on these turkey wings. Okay, guys, let me finish with this, and I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, so I've already gotten my turkey tips or turkey, this portion of the turkey wings out of this, out of this roaster. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just fishing around for some of the green peppers that's in here. Thought I might as well just do that and share, share guys, share, share alike. Okay. You know, share with your friends. This was eight whole turkey wings. They came two to a pack. And guys, let me tell you for the unbelievable price of five dollars and some change per pack. That was per pack. For a pack of two, you cut this portion off from this portion of the wing and you have what you have two times four two times two, two times two is four i had to think about that for a minute mm, been a minute since i've been in school <clears throat> you have you have four serving so as a total right now what four packs we have 18 servings you don't you might not need that much you can go ahead and freeze what's left just use what you need and freeze what's left and uh, for this whole recipe, you want to cut everything into half. And it all depends on how many people you're feeding. Okay, so we seem to have that all well taken care of. So it's separated, and I have some. There's my green peppers down in there. And I'm just going to whisk this around and add this. Let me bring this pan over, guys, so you can see. I'm trying not to touch this meat or anything. Okay. Hopefully you can see that okay. Because I do have some juices and uh, some flavoring from almost the same concoction from last night. I just did it a little differently. Okay. And what I'm going to do now...
I'm just adding in some water. I'm not going to cover my turkey wings in it. And why am I adding water? Well, guys, all of this, the chicken broth, the cream of celery, the cream of chicken, all has salt in it. And I want to dilute it down somewhat. I don't want it too salty. But I'll be tasting this as I go along once it starts cooking in the oven. The oven is preheating right now at 400 Guys, I don't know if you can hear it. Not right now, but um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my neighbors. The kids are pretty excited for some reason or another. This is December. Kids are out of school for the holidays, and they're just having fun. They're being kids. Okay. This is the Worcestershire sauce. I showed you this last night. I guess you guys thought, oh, she forgot to add the Worcestershire sauce. No, I didn't. Because this is when I want to add it in. This is just when I want to add her in. Okay, I have my Worcestershire sauce. And I also have poultry seasoning. That you guys didn't see me add in last night. Poultry seasoning. Okay, a nice little amount of my poultry seasoning going in. My bay leaves. So when I said <laughs> I make my my uh, smothered turkey wings, these are my bay leaves. A little different from everybody else, but this is Big Mama's place. I kind of think outside the box on a lot of my dishes. I think outside the box. My mother laid the foundation, and I just grew upon it. Thinking outside the box, guys. And I did add in some, this is thyme, fresh thyme. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to flip these over. I have the poultry seasoning on top. Flip these over. All right, and once I have it all done, I'm going to go ahead and put the, here I go again, I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'll learn. <laughs> I will learn. I'll put some lemon foil on this, but in the meantime, I have one more thing that's going to go on. I have some smoked paprika. What I'd added last night, guys, was just the regular sweet paprika. This is going to give my turkey wings a little smoky flavor. It's a nice color. And yes, I'm putting on a generous amount. But I'll be basting my turkey wings as I go along. Excuse my arm if it's in your way, but I need to get down to this line turkey wing. Okay. And there we are. The cream of chicken soup, the cream of celery, and my chicken broth. I saved this half of these cans of for later on. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later on. Okay, so for right now, let's go ahead and put the roaster top on this one. Cover this pan up. Put her in the oven at 400 degrees for three hours, and I'll come and check these turkey wings in my second hour. And but in the meanwhile, while they're while they're cooking, I'm going to be basting them um, as I go along. I'm going to be basting them, and we will be back at that point. See you in a few minutes, guys. I'm looking because I don't want my hair falling in my pan. I hate that. When people come
come to my kitchen, got all that long hair, be looking at my paws, oh no, you need to get out of my kitchen. Anyway, I'll see you.